evening, cult members, and welcome to the Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And welcome to our trailer reaction for Marvel's What If. What If. Uh, uh, I've been saying this, uh, the investor call from Disney was today, and uh, the investor day, whatever, and so they dropped a Iger bunch Con. of- IgerCon. IgerCon. It was a lot more than IgerCon today. <laughs> um, and so they dropped a ton of stuff. Uh, and I've said in both Falcon and Winter Soldier trailer reaction and the Loki trailer reaction that this is my next most anticipated thing. When they announced this big slate of series that were coming to Disney Plus, this was the one I gravitated to first. And that was the idea of here's the stories that we know what if XYZ happens, right. which is one of the things that happens a bunch in the comics. They do a, a whole comic run of what ifs. Right. And I'm I, uh, with all the voice cast, all the people who played the characters being in this and uh, 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 Jeffrey Wright being the watcher and being the voiceover and kind of directing you through the series and stuff like that. I've been super, this is, this is the most excited one I've been about. <laughs> I, like I've been saying, like I've been joking about it, but I, this is the one I've been most excited about because I love this idea of what if X, if, what if this happens, what if yeah. this happens. So yeah. we've got our first look today. Here we go. I'm very excited about it. So here we go. Marvel's What If, and go. Space. The final for two. Time. Time. Reality. It's more than a linear path. Star Lord. It's a prism of endless possibility. Well, that doesn't sound ominous at all. <laughs> Chachala is Star Lord. Of the watcher in the background. Hand up so you can't see it. I was promised <laughs> an army. You have a super soldier. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> cool. You sure don't seem too freaked out about all this, kid. What you doing out there all by yourself anyway? Exploring the world. Sounds fun. <laughs> stop at one world when we can show you all of them. I am the Watcher. Yes, you are. I am your guide through these vast new realities. Follow me. And dare to face the unknown. Oh, nice. Yay! Marvel Zombies. Question. What if? Give me the tour. <laughs> Strange be strange, okay. <laughs> or strange be stranger. Strange, strange the the strange. I'm. It's very strange. <laughs> the animation looks awesome. Yeah, it feels a lot like End of the Spider Verse, kind of. I mean, not that how they kind of did the comic book, but just the blockier. Yeah, it's um, kind of a little bit of the. Um, uh, I haven't watched the. Um, uh, the, like the anime stuff that they're doing on Netflix right now, mm. it, it kind of feels that kind of style looks and stuff. So comic book animation. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way of putting um, it. That's a much much yeah. better way of putting it. Yeah, which I think is what they were going for with yeah. the Spider Verse, just without the kind of dots and. <laughs> I, I, which I didn't mind. Like, no, I, I didn't uh, mind it either. But they, yeah, they just didn't do that. Here. I want to go watch into the Spider Verse now. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, right. Uh, it'll only be like the eight hundredth time. Um, <laughs> The the animation grabs my attention because I know of the voice cast and everything that's going on with it and whatever. But what I'm seeing here is it. I I know they've talked about it a little bit, but it almost feels like 
each episode is going to be a version of what if, right? Yeah. But, uh, da, 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 yeah. Da. But there's an overarching story that you're getting from the watcher. Yeah. And and again, I we talked about this in a previous trailer reaction with Marvel. I'm not completely versed in all of the Marvel lore and everything that goes right. on, <laughs> and and um, I'm look more looking at it from the MCU perspective, from the Marvel Studio perspective, perspective. Per perspective i nailed it the first time uh but you get but the idea of um taking what we know of the mcu characters and and telling the story with the concept of the watcher reminding everybody that it's good that the, the story went this way mm -hmm. and what like that's kind of what it feels like to me i could be completely off base and, and that's fine i'm a, i'm not like i don't have any um ex expectations of anything yeah yeah. Well, the one with Peggy Carter becoming Captain Britain. Britain? Yeah. So that's a real comic series. So right? we there is a there is a Captain American version of the, a British character. Right. I mean, it's not necessarily Peggy Carter, but there is a Captain Britain, Britain and it yes. was a series. Yes, so. and, it, and it was a run. And in, in that, I, there's been a ton of rumors that they're bringing. Um, Captain Britain to a live action MCU, not necessarily just the animation, whatever right. they're doing. So right. that like that idea is cool. Like I, yeah, this could be the spot where you can introduce some of the really weird stuff in the MCU. Right. Well, that's kind of yeah. What I was thinking is they're just gonna do some of the kind of different characters, but um, or the different you know. There's Marvel's been around for a really long time and a lot of these characters have been around for a really long time right. where they do this run that doesn't really fit into kind of the overarching uh, Avengers kind of storyline. So they go off and do Marvel zombies do <laughs> yeah, and get the zombie yeah. stuff. And yeah. they kind of hinted at the Marvel zombie stuff um, in um, Far From Home when, when Iron Man's zombie corpse comes out of the, out of the oh, ground yeah. and stuff like that. So yeah, they yeah. kind of hinted at it there and they're going to again, hint at it here uh, with the concept, you know, moving forward, like maybe they'll do like a spin off something or on the, on, on Disney plus or whatever. Yeah. You know? they're, they're, they're Kevin Feige and Marvel studios are looking, they're not looking three, four years ahead. They're looking 10, 15 years ahead. <laughs> yeah. And if you introduce this kind of weird stuff, uh, strange versus strange, yeah. like introducing Dr. Strange when they did was a huge, ga a huge swing. Uh, and that worked. Yeah. And introducing the cosmic element. they're going to do that with internals, like really lean into the cosmic element and that, that, that just so being able to do all that stuff. But introducing it here in smaller chunks and then pushing it forward is a really cool idea. T'Challa as Star Lord is really kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I just you know that I know that they're doing like there's a bunch of them that they're doing, but like things that I would like to see is they announced Ironheart today, but you could introduce Ironheart. Um, it's the uh, teenage black teenage girl who's as smart as Tony Stark mm -hmm. built her own and kind of version of suit. the suit. Yep. So you could do a version where Tony doesn't exist in the world, but she does. And it'd be kind of an interesting thing. You could introduce some of the strange concepts that come from Moon Knight mm -hmm. and, and introduce that kind of concept of maybe not necessarily the Moon Knight story arc itself but at right. least the kind of the concepts of being possessed and stuff like that yeah like that would be really kind of interesting and they're going to be full weird with wandavision anyways yeah <laughs> so you can do it in what if and then that introduces stuff as you go forward and so. yeah so this is an ongoing this isn't just a I, six episodes and we're no done this is supposed thing. to be like a full-on like i think like 10 or 12 episode series i don't know how long each episode's going to be animation is really weird because to do uh, a typical 30 minute episode. So it's actually like what 22 minutes or 24 minutes or whatever. Yeah. It takes them like a year, a year <laughs> to do that, you know, yeah. and then you've got multiple animators going at the same time. And yeah. so that concept, um, I, I, I think it's supposed to be bigger than what it, what the other stuff is supposed to be like with, uh, Falcon Winter Soldier is only six episodes right. and Loki's only supposed to be 10. I think it's supposed to be like 10 or 15 episodes. And okay. so I'm really interested to see what that's going to be and stuff. So that yep. is our thoughts on Marvel's What If. Uh, what do you think of this trailer and our reaction to it? Let us know in the comments down below. Be nice. That's a requirement around here. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notification. And follow us on all the social media stuff. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Whew.
<laughs> only like seven more trailers to go. <laughs> and until next time, cult members, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thank you.